custom jigger I made here. This is a peristaltic pump. Right now I just have it pumping water out of this bottle, pumping it back in. And this pump is special because it's controlled by a stepper motor for very accurate dosing. This is what's inside. It's a lot bigger because they're very accurate. They're accurate to uh, 1.8 degrees of a revolution. To control it, I made this board right here. We got an L6470 stepper motor driver from ST Micro, an Atmel AT Mega 328 MCU for controlling that chip. And then talking to it underneath that blob of hot glue, I have a Max 485 for RS-485 communications. This is just uh, for my AVR programmer. But what's cool about that is I can daisy chain these pumps together. Using this switch, I can change the pump ID from 0 to, in here, I can do 0 to 8 because people don't know binary, or 1 to 8. But I can just change that so that it's binary, and then I can daisy chain 256 pumps together. So we have one wire that brings power and data in, the other wire brings power data out. But since I only have one pump, this right here is just going to my uh, USB RS-485 converter. Over here is the code. I wrote some code. So I can hit this test button down here. Boom, gives me a friendly message. That's what I like to see. So I got this other macro for 20 revolutions. Give me 20 revs. Beautiful. That's exactly 20 revolutions. Very accurate pumps. But I also wrote code to change a couple settings with the driver. Um, yeah, so this is what I determined is the fastest it can go. You can pause the video and you can see that my FS calc is uh, 200 and 511 for my acceleration deceleration rates. Uh, the code automatically converts that to hex. So I go ahead and tell it to give me max speed. Now watch how fast it goes. Give me, give me 40 revs. Very good. Well, that's all cool for dosing. What I'm really excited about is having this thing make me a fucking drink. I need a Long Island iced tea after all this. This was a real big bitch. Alright, that's it.